Great Mother, Holy Spirit, Yin, Divine Mother, Cosmic Moon, Deep Space, the Moon, Dark Matter. Virgo Moon Sign people, happy 2019. Welcome to your Capricorn New Moon Partial Solar Eclipse reading. This is from Great Mother Speaks. Great Mother Speaks to us both to our emotion and our intuition. These are deep, deep moon sign readings. You want to check the links below to see which resonates with you the most. Your Western Virgo or your sidereal Leo. For most of you, it will be Leo. Some of you will be Virgo in both. Now, our ego communicates to our soul through our emotions. Emotions are Western-oriented, Earth-oriented, Earth-centric, um, materially-centric, solar-centric energy, okay? Material manifestation, what we see, what we see, what we feel, what we feel, okay? And the soul responds to those emotions by downloading intuitive wisdom based on why it incarnated through you as you and what it's trying to do, the experience that it would like to have. And when the more we're in touch with that intuitive download, the more we can more successfully and effectively align with it to live our best lives, right? Our tribe is small. This is deep, deep work. I am an inner work life coach and the inner work great mother is saying is necessary for you at this time and coming up for you is Ishel, the Mayan goddess of fertility, creativity, rainbows, rabbits, and the moon. So you have a second chakra waning gibbous moon card or this waxing moon. There you go, waxing. Waxing gibbous. She's saying the inner work that needs to happen for you is a revised, a revision, a revised plan going forward for 2019. Ishel is all about, these cards are based on the 49 scenes of the Wizard of Oz, and Dorothy is the poster child for Mama Drama Trauma, a condition in which the mother projects unhealed aspects of herself onto her child causing emotional and or physical trauma. This is often very much unknown. It's a generational pattern or pathology. Okay, and Dorothy had experienced a little bit of that on the farm. She was an orphan, right? Now, for an overall look at the true tea, the story that you may be telling yourself with this lunar focus, something about what you're trying to create in your life, you have questions about it. You don't know whether or not it's the way you need to go, the direction you need to go. And there's a reliance on the opinions of others instead of really creating what you want. For some of you, you are in that place where you are creating what you want, but you're still trying to justify the maltreatment that you're receiving from others. Or you're not aware of it. You're not aware that you're being disrespected. You're not aware that your true soul motivation, your true soul intention is not being honored because it's not being honored by you. No one can dishonor us without us dishonoring it first. But a lot of times, again, emotionally, we're unaware of it. And why are you unaware? Because in your shallow position, what you don't see about yourself or you don't want others to know, some of you are aware, but this is a struggle. Others of you are not aware, and that's why it's a struggle. Hakati is all about thinking that you have to focus on survival instead of what you know your soul has already intuitively downloaded to you. This is a crescent moon card. If you do the opposite of this card, or you live in the southern hemisphere, this is a balsamic moon. Um, the balsamic moon is right before the full moon. You don't have any balsamic moon cards in your spread. That is the, the moon where it's just that slither of light. The old folks used to call it the crying moon right before the new moon. That last little piece of light is where Great Mother is really sponging out her wisdom from that lunar cycle for you. And this being a Capricorn new moon means that that balsamic moon is in Sagittarius. Why is that important? Because you're thinking or you're feeling there's an emotional impulse 
to give away your birthright to be happy, healthy, and whole. And this Capricorn new moon conjunct Saturn and Pluto is really wanting to release that tendency so that you can trust your intuition more so that you can be more obedient to what your soul has already told you this is the scene when the witch is trying to take Dorothy's shoes and she cannot because the red ruby slippers symbolize our symbolize our birthright to be happy healthy and whole that can never be taken away from us again it has to be given by us. We have to allow people to disrespect us so that we don't self-create. We have to allow mistreatment. I know that sounds strange. I know that sounds hard. That's why our tribe is small. It's small because it takes time from the conditioning of the world, the conditioning of our families before we realize we are divinely human. We're divine first before we're human, no. But we know more about the human side, again, the sun, than we do the moon. And that inner side, that soul part of us, is dearly loved as a divine child of the great mother, father, God. That is never judged, condemned, or left alone. You have angels, guides, and ancestors. Glenda the Good Witch came to her in Munchkin Land and told her never to give those shoes away. But just as soon as the witch said, I'm going to take Toto. Oh, take the shoes, take the shoes. No. Throat chakra not being properly utilized. Mercury rules the throat chakra. Virgo moon sign people. Virgo is ruled by Mercury. But when we talk about chakras, we're talking about the Vedic astrology. And again, for you, your Vedic is more than likely it could be Virgo. And so for you, if you're Virgo in the sidereal as well, this is a very important message for you that you do not have to give up your intuition in order to survive. If your sidereal moon sign is in Leo, Leo is ruled by the sun. And so... Of course, the sun and the moon during the new moon are in the same sign of Capricorn. This is, for you, fifth house energy that has to do with your creativity, that has to do with um, your expression, that has to do with how powerful you are in the world. Children, having fun. So... Toto is a part of Dorothy's creativity, but Toto symbolizes our intuition. So your intuition is really the source of your creativity and of your fun. And this year, you have probably been able to get by with um, not really acknowledging that up to now. But in 2019, what's bringing this up is my yacht. Mayat is bringing to the surface or into focus the inciting illumination that's necessary in order for you to self-recreate -re -re and self-create. Tara, there's a centering that needs to happen. The centering is based on really trusting what that intuition is telling you about yourself, about what you're wanting to create in your life. That's why this is coming up. Um, I'm sorry, Maya is not Tara. Maya, which is justice. There is a justice that is coming into focus here. A situation, some incident that has caused you some frustration because it did not turn out the way you expected it to, or um, the interpretation usually of that is of disappointment, and it very well didn't turn out the way you expected it to in a good sense as well um, for some of you, um, but usually the indication of this card because it's the first quarter moon is that it was a challenge you know it was some action that you had to take and when you did take the action things didn't pan out 
And so that's what's bringing all this to the surface, that you're needing to recreate. You're needing to see things from a new perspective. And taking the opinions of others overly into consideration is not serving you at this time. Um, and I know that because there has to be an over-consideration for the opinions, the perspectives, the input of others in order for Hakati to show up in the position of your shadow, which is, you know, giving away um, your pearls when you don't have to. You can have your birthright and your intuition. You know, you can have both. As a matter of fact, that is what being divinely human is about. The intuition and having the birthright in the physical form as a human to be happy, healthy, and whole. What you're desiring from this is that the self-doubt around this issue is something that you can face. Again, first quarter moon energy, that's going to be in about in a week's time. And so if you're not desiring that now, in about a week, you may be, come to see that what you really want out of this injustice that you have experienced that for the justice to occur that higher intuitive knowledge to really come through for you that you are really going to need to face the challenge of your self-doubt in your divinity you know of your self-doubt about the course that you've taken you've started on some journey and it hasn't it's not going the way you expected. And it now is not the time to give up. Now is not the time to uh, sit back and say, you know, uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Now is the time to realize that if you don't stand strong with what you desire, which is to face this head on, you know, you really do want to face this head on. What will happen is that the law of mystery and divine order won't be activated for you. That's what's at stake. In your at stake position is Akhenaten. This is the Yank Rook Chakra card. Okay, and so this Root Chakra energy of Saturn. So with Saturn and Capricorn, that's that fifth house energy of creativity. It's really making you par, pare it down rather to a realistic assessment based on the journey that you've had up to this point. So the revisions that are needed here with this waxing gibbous moon card are revisions that are going to help you with your creativity and to resolve the self-doubt so that you can reground and replant yourself in more fertile soil not only for this lunar cycle but for the year that's what's at stake if you don't face that that self-doubt but you have the power to do it it's just it's a sequential thing and many times we have to walk in faith before what we desire is materialized and that's what you have going on here the energies are supporting you to do that however with Aries hosting Mars and Uranus at this time squaring with what's going on in this new moon reading in your position of why you should do the inner work is Baba Yaga Baba Yaga is the wild woman and <laughs> You need to let loose. You have a lot of creativity that you're wanting to get out. Maybe you want to have a child. Maybe you actually need and you want to be reborn yourself. Okay? This eighth house energy of Aries with all this Martian and Uranus energy going on is going to profoundly bring you to a place of inheriting not only intuitive downloads from your higher mind but also to speak it into existence and so maybe um, this hiccup has caused you to second guess yourself a little bit and that happens doesn't it when we have things that are setbacks um, but you need to keep going and the wild woman card came through it's a new moon card it is your new moon card of the spread um, and although it could be fearful, like when Dorothy and the three entered the dark forest, I would turn back if I were you was the sign that they were greeted with. This is also a fifth chakra card. So that higher mind, that higher wisdom operating to take you through that dark night, to take you through all of the revelations that are coming with all of this energy, um, especially a 
again, talking eighth house, we are talking about resurrection and rejuvenation. We're talking about inheritance. We're also talking about secrets. And so what you may not know is what you're going to learn from doing all this inner work. What's in it for you? What's in it is that what you're going to get from your effort is the peace of mind to accept how you're feeling by the full moon from your gut. The gut chakra is ruled by Mars. Mars rules Aries and Scorpio. So that Aries energy that is activating this need to be reborn, to be rejuvenated with your creativity despite the challenges you've had and the input, not necessarily the best input from others, the inner work that you're doing with the Byron Katie, the work, asking yourself the questions so that you do recreate from a place of power, that is where your divinity is and not allowing to your um, whole life to hang on the hanger of um, the, the, the challenges. But accepting your feelings, if you still do feel upset, if you still do feel slighted, and more than that, if you still feel like you're ready to keep carrying on, by the full moon, you're going to have doing this inner work just the peace of mind that I'm okay and I'm going to be okay. I have an idea about where I need to go based on all these powerful energies that have been going on within me and around me. And I got this. You're going to know that in your gut. I, I got this. I got a way to go. It's the beginning of the year. But hey, you're going to feel like you got it once you do your inner work. You're going to really feel like you got it. And so how is this inner work going to occur? And, you know, possibly when is it going to occur? Well, Great Mother saying that in this lunar cycle, okay, so we have the full moon in two weeks. And then right before that full moon, we have the balsamic moon of Osiris Horus. Okay, of course, Osiris um died and his son uh, lived, but Osiris was, was resurrected. And this father-son um, um, the foundational um, mythology of the Egyptian pantheon is all about that great father power. Now, when we are looking at the revision of Ishel, Next, with second chakra, with the revision necessary in the fifth chakra, we're talking about making a leap from our desires personally to our higher will. This is heart above chakra energy. It's a death of what that last aspiration was. It may not be the complete death of it, but definitely it will be revised into something new, a new perspective. Because before you were going a particular road and a route of fulfilling it, and now what you're going to do is you're going to actually see that, hey, how I feel is the most important thing. How I want to go about it is the most important thing. And your mother is not helping you with this. You know, she's not helping you with this. This is what you're going to have to do on your own. But if you don't, the law of mystery and divine order is the card for accepting the soul contract of mama drama trauma. That the resistance that we feel, the conflict that we feel with our mothers is a divine form of love because it coerces us to evolve in self-love. And spiritual independence. That's what she's doing. She's forcing you to evolve. And so maybe in your process of the aspiration of what you were trying to create, maybe you were trying to have a child, maybe you were trying to do something fun for once and you know you just needed a little help, you just needed a little encouragement and you didn't get it. Once again, um, or you were told that you would be supported by your mother or, or, or feminine energy um, that you were hoping would nurture you through the process. There was a, 
um, frustration about that. And um, you're just needing to break out of that mode and accept how you feel about that so that you can be reborn. Your most likely outcome from doing this inner work great mother says is that you're going to realize that in this process not only have you learned a lot but as it relates to healing the relationship and dealing with whatever self-doubt and guilt that you might have as a result of her judgments you've done all that you can do Adi Shakti is a second chakra waning gibbous moon card it comes after the full moon. So after this full moon of acceptance, in the next two and a half, three days, there'll be a general relaxing into your new reality. And depending on where you are in this process of realizing that this inner work needs to be done or just coming to the awareness that it needs to be done, it will actually be the two or three days after this full moon and for others it'll be another month when that time comes again the space comes again because this is the twister dream in the wizard of oz when dorothy decides to leave the farm to heal her mama drama trauma out of guilt she returns back but great mother says no no you need to heal before you come back there's a lot of work you need to do and the twister she created from her variant energy of earth mother goddess energy she kicked up the farmlands and uh, Dorothy landed in munchkin land and so the likely outcome of you doing your inner work Virgo moon sign people is to uh, really get to a place where you know that your desires are being shepherded and stewarded by your angels and your guides and your ancestors and feeling worthy of that guidance feeling worthy of that never being aloneness because you truly have done all that you can do at that point thank you so much for watching sharing and liking but above all and most of all remember great mother loves you and i do too Mother Mary.